Hello, Cross Pointers. Hopefully everyone is uh, staying safe and making wise choices during this time. And, you know, we are in a time as never before. Uh, there are some of you that are maybe you're panicking, some of you that are not maybe taking it seriously, and many who are just not sure of what's going to happen next. Well, let me tell you something. God is still on the throne. Amen. He is not surprised at what's going on. And if God has allowed this to happen, then what are we as Christ followers to do? We're to draw close to Him and bring Him glory with our lives at all times. Our president and the leaders of our country are wanting us to take precautionary measures and take this serious. We're gonna be just fine, but we need to do our part. And our leaders are not wanting us to, to meet in large groups. And I think 100 is the maximum mandatory number. It may be less than that now, but uh, the president recommends no more than 10 getting together. But with that said, until further notice, we are asking everyone to watch our services from home. Each Sunday, we'll be going live on Facebook at 10 o'clock for people to watch. And uh, I met with the leadership team this week, and it was unanimous that this is what we need to do. Uh, now, I know that there are those on both extremes of this. There's some of you that agree totally with our decision, and there's some who disagree and say we should just have faith. Well, no matter if we meet here at the church or if we watch it from home, we're to still be the church seven days a week. And so uh, I, I pray that you'll tune in and watch the, the services each Sunday. We need to bloom where we are planted. Amen. I'm looking forward to this time to be a time to use social media to shine for our Lord. Send out positive messages, post encouraging words, and maybe to some people that are down and struggling. And, and let's just bring glory to God. I believe that God is getting our attention to get back to some basics. I really believe that. Depending more on Him, spending more time praying and reading His Word, and as your pastor, I'm going to start using social media more to reach out to all of you with encouraging words and devotions and Bible verses and different things. And I'm going to be challenging you even throughout the week in your faith. Kim is going to be putting out children's Bible devotions and lessons uh, for your children while they're at home. Please get your children together and sit down and watch these videos. We need to continue to pour seeds into their lives. We're not to live in a spirit of fear. God is still on the throne and in the control. And we need to pray. God, what can we do to help others? If you're elderly and are hesitant to go out, please contact me at carl at crosspointforyou.org and we will go and pick up what you need and bring it to you, whether it be groceries or medicine or whatever. And if you're, if you're willing to help out with this ministry with deliveries, please let me know as well and we'll, we'll let you uh, in on this. But if you're taken out of work and you need some assistance getting food and you're in hard times in that way, please let us know and let us help you out. This is a time that we pull together and help each other. This is a great time for us to start using the Fellowship One app as well. If you haven't started that and you know you can't figure it out, we're going to send out a post and it's going to have simple step-by-step -step instructions. And then you can start sending in prayer requests and needs or whatever it may be through this app. And if you're wondering what do you do about your tithes and offerings, we'll be sending out a step-by-step -step on how you can give online. If you don't want to give online, you can mail your tithes and offerings to 3951 Greensboro Road, Ridgeway, Virginia, 24148. Hopefully this will be over soon, but we need to do our part. Let's stay faithful to our Lord. Amen. People still need to see Jesus in us. And if you're hoarding up food and toilet paper, quit it. Until next time, stay tuned.